Hello and welcome back. We now take an example from quadratic equations. Now here we have to solve the equation 1 upon x plus 1 plus 1 upon x plus 2 equal to 1 upon x plus 3. So let's get started. So we have 1 upon x plus 1 plus 1 upon x plus 2 equal to 1 upon x plus 3. On the left hand side we equalize the denominators. So we just put this in brackets so things become easy. Let us equalize the denominators on the left hand side. So 1 times x plus 2 will give us x plus 2 plus x plus 1 into 1. So that becomes x plus 1 divided by x plus 1 into x plus 2 equal to 1 upon x plus 3. Now if you add these terms over here, so we obtain 2x plus 3 divided by now let us multiply these two brackets so we obtain x square plus 2x plus x plus 2 and on the right hand side we have 1 upon x plus 3 so the left hand side we finally get x sorry 2x plus 3 divided by x square plus 3x plus 2 equal to 1 divided by x plus 3. Now we simply perform the cross multiplication that is this bracket we multiplied over here and x square plus 3x plus 2 that gets multiplied on the right hand side. So you perform the cross multiplication and let's see what we get. So on the left hand side we get 2x plus 3 into x plus 3 and on the right hand side it was 1 into x square plus 3x plus 2. Now here again we perform the multiplication of the two brackets so 2x into x that becomes 2x square then 2x into 3 is 6x then 3 times x becomes 3x plus 3 into 3 that becomes 9 and on the right hand side we have x square plus 3x plus 2. So the next step is we get 2x squared now 6 plus 3 that becomes 9x plus 9 is equal to x squared plus 3x plus 2. Now we transfer all these terms onto the left hand side and finally we get 2x squared minus x squared plus 9x minus 3x plus 9 minus 2 equal to 0. So finally we get the quadratic equation x square plus 6x plus 7 is equal to 0. Now we could factorize 7 as the factors would be 7 and 1. No but this doesn't work here okay so we can't factorize we can't split the middle term over here. So what we have to do is we have to use the formula method. Okay. So if we compare with ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0, we obtain a as 1, the value for b as 6, the value for c as 7. So first we obtain the discriminant that is delta. Now delta is calculated as b square minus 4ac. So that would be 6 square 
minus 4 into 1 into 7. So the value for delta is 36 minus 28. So the difference is 8. And now we could obtain x by the formula method. So it's minus b plus or minus root of delta divided by 2a. So let us substitute all these values and see what we get. So we have x is equal to minus b. Now b is 6. So minus 6 plus minus root of delta. Delta value was 8 divided by 2a. That is 2 into 1. So we have minus 6 plus minus. Now 8 could be factorized as 4 into 2. And square root of 4 is 2. So this could be written as 2 root 2 divided by 2. Now in the numerator we could take 2 as the common factor. So if we take 2 as the common factor we are left with minus 3 plus or minus root 2 divided by 2. Now this 2 and this 2 gets cancelled off. So we have x is equal to minus 3 plus minus root 2. So the solution set which we obtain. So we have finally obtained the values for x and the values are minus 3 plus root 2 and the second value is minus 3 minus root 2. So this is how you solve the given quadratic equation. Like it, share it and subscribe to our channel for more such interesting videos. Thank you.